Hi guys, come in the kitchen with me today. We're not doing hair, we're deboning chicken. And the first thing you're going to need is a very thin, flexible fillet knife. This is a fillet knife and I was just showing you guys how flexible it is. I don't know if you guys know, but we are a family of nine. I have seven children, then my husband and I. We're a family of nine, so we go through food, like we go through water. And one of the things for me is I love deboning my own chicken breast because my husband loves the tenderloin and we love the breast to make chicken strips and things like that. So if I debone it myself, I get the breast and the tenderloin. And what I'm doing here is I'm just removing the skin. I do all of this before I clean the chicken. I remove the skin, I cut off the bone, and then I'll clean it and store it or whatever I'm going to do with it. So the first thing I want you guys to see is this line of fat that's going down the side. And then there's a line of fat on the other side. Now, halfway through the chicken, you're going to put your knife all the way through to the other side. As you can see, I didn't start from the top of the chicken. It's kind of in the middle because if you go up too far, you're going to miss the tenderloin when you cut down the chicken. And I have different angles. You guys, excuse me, because this is my first cooking video. So it may not be the best, but if you guys like them, I will do more. Give me a thumbs up and a like and your comments in the comment section. But I'm going to do another one. So you'll see another breast. It'll be a better angle. But I slid the knife, the fillet knife, all the way down the bottom. And then I'm taking the fillet knife all the way across the top. And I'm going to show you how to cut the left side and the right side of the breast because it is different. Um, I think this side, if I'm not mistaken, is the right side, I believe. I'm not sure. I think it's the right side of the breast. And as you can see, I'm still cutting upward because now I'm just cutting the, the thickest part of the meat off of the bone. Now, if you want to keep the bones and make stock, you can. Um, but I'm going to discard mine. And see, there you have. A whole breast and use that's the tenderloin and I'll show it. it'll be another that's the tenderloin that's the part my husband likes and then the kids like the breast because they want to make chicken strips and I just cut all of that stuff off but again I I debone and remove the skin and all of that before I clean my breast there's no need for me to clean it if I don't want the skin And I'm going to show you another one, and then I'm going to show you the other side. Yeah, I think this is the right side of the breast, and I think the right side is the hardest side, in my opinion, to cut. The left side is so much easier. So that's why I wanted to show you guys both sides, and I showed you the left side. I showed you more clips of the left side because, to me, that's the harder side to cut. But the right side is very easy. Once you get the left, the right side is nothing. And a fillet knife is very important. It makes your job so much easier. Don't try to go in with your chef's knife. Make sure you get you a thin fillet knife. There's that fat again. That's your line. See, it's in the middle of the breast. I'm cutting in the middle of the breast. And I'm taking my knife all the way to the other side. You see my knife coming out the other side. And I just slide, follow that line all the way down. And then... Follow that line, turn your knife around and follow that line all the way up and you'll cut all the meat off the breast. This is another right side. And I'm showing you the right side again, guys, multiple times because the right side, to me, is harder to cut. And once you learn the right side, it's not hard. Once you learn the technique and, and where to cut and where to slide your fillet knife in, into the chicken, it's not hard. But it's this is the hardest side to learn. And make sure your fillet knife is sharp. Mine wasn't sharp enough. I usually like them razor sharp. But I was in a hurry trying to get this done. Again, there's that line of fat. Look for that line of fat. Stick your knife all the way in, all the way through to the other side. 
and just slide your knife down. And then lift it up and slide it all the way back up following the line of fat around the breast. You see it? And boom, there you have it. And you get the tenderloin, see? You get the tenderloin and you get the full breast. And I'm sorry if you might hear cars and birds chirping and all that, guys. I'm outside. It's a very pretty day, and I'm outside, so I apologize if you guys hear it. Now, in my next video, I'm going to show you what I did with all these breasts. I must have deboned probably about 14 to 15 breasts. Now, this is the left side. This is the easy side, like this side is nothing to do this side see there's the tenderloin right there that little split right there that's your tenderloin right there so you just run your knife your fillet knife down the side of that bone that's pretty much it most of the breast is going to come off thin it's a, like a thin bone or gristle type something see and you just cut upward that's your tenderloin I should have taken the skin off before I started. But you remove the skin first. I mean, now, if you're going to fry it with the skin and no bone, leave the skin on it. Or if you're going to bake it or roast it with the skin on, leave the skin on it. But I'm I'm not um, cooking it with the skin on it or I don't need the bone either. So now, on the left side, I believe it is, there's a little bone underneath. That's what I'm looking for. There's a little bone that you have to watch out for. That. And I just cut around that. And you're done. Just take the fat off or whatever. And that's it. And you notice there's hardly any meat left on the bone. Because your fillet knife, it cuts so close. And the fillet knives are so so thin and so flexible when you cut through the meat you get so close to that bone that you don't waste any meat see this i'm showing you guys another easy one all you do is slide your knife underneath it's a bone and then it looks like feels like kind of like gristle or something like that and you just run your fillet knife right down that bone and you see it's next to no meat on that bone because the fillet knife does all the work for you and make sure y'all's is sharp because I didn't sharpen mine I should have it would have been so much easier and so much faster if I had made sure it was sharpened before I started, but I didn't want to stop and have to sharpen a knife and then get started. Again, I'm looking for that little bone. I think it's on the right side, I believe, of the breast. There's a little bone at the top. You don't want to leave that in your, in your breast. I'm trying to show you guys the little bone. Always work with sharp knives, guys. It makes it so much easier. I mean, this knife wasn't dull, but it wasn't as sharp as I know it could have been. I'm trying to show you guys the the bone that you want to watch out for that little bone and just cut right around that bone and there you have it so this is how I debone my breasts you guys in the next video I'm going to show you what I did with all of these breasts and you have the tenderloin and if you like the tenderloin better you know, you get the breast and the tenderloin versus paying for the tenderloin. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to show you what I did with all of this chicken. Bye, guys.